Gemini, what up though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Wherever that resonates at for you in your chart, keep in mind, energy is fluid so you can take the rolls and flip them if you need to. Also, only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. These readings are timeless, y'all, so whenever you stumble across this reading, there will be a message here to help empower you, to help bring you clarity, to help you align um, to your highest vibrational and most divine timeline. Tapping into my Gemini's energy. I don't know what happened here. This upheaval, this combustion, something happened, Gemini, that got you on your job. Something karmic, I feel, especially with this reincarnation card coming out, okay? But, like I said, the first two cards to come out was upheaval and combustion. So I know it resonates differently for everybody. I'm not one to harp on the negativity, right? But like I said, it, it really feels like whatever it was, it's really got you on your job. It's really got you stepping into your power. I'm also hearing loving yourself again. Okay, you've got this abundance card, you've got this productivity, responsibility, so you're handling your business here, Gemini, and it looks like you've got this accomplishment card too. So whatever Geminis I'm tapping into, you're really getting stuff done, and it really feels like you're getting a lot accomplished, you're, you're doing a lot, okay? And for some of you, this is going to bring in a lot of abundance. With this air card, I feel you're really blowing through, right? like the element of air you're sort of not letting anything get in your way you're going around the obstacles going around the competition just sort of blowing past uh these obstacles okay stepping into your power gemini on the bottom of the deck we have this plants card and this is about staying grounded this is about staying in the light this is about um growth and it is about sort of healing energy, all right? Some of you could be going through some type of like heart chakra awakening or just an awakening in general. You're definitely aligning to your path. So with that being said, we're gonna dive into this tarot. Oh, dope. With the Ace of Cups on the bottom, there could be new love or this could just be like a renewed sense of love for yourself and, and your life. Um, we're going to jump into this tarot and see what's up, though. <clears throat> Mother, Father, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High messages for my Gemini gang for their highest good. Any messages that will help empower them. <clears throat> Any messages that will help bring them clarity. Any messages my Geminis need to hear right now. Anything that will help them align <clears throat> to this abundance, to this accomplishment, to this productivity, to this healing and growth will be truly and greatly appreciated. All praise and glory to the Most High forever and ever. What do we have here in the recent past for my gems? Sorry about that little plant. My Gemini is realizing that they're going to do what makes them happy. What do we have currently here for my gems? Thank you. Wow. I'm going to finish grabbing these cards and we'll dive into it. Wow, you guys. This feels very new, okay, a renewing. You guys, I feel like there's definitely been 
a major chapter closing out in your life, Gemini. It feels like this chapter did not go out without a bang for some of you. Um, Libra energy coming out through here. Some Scorpio energy. Some Pisces energy. Some Leo energy. In the recent past, um, it's like I see you learning what you want from life. It's like you're learning what you're going to accept, what you will and won't accept. Um, you're learning about yourself. You're, you're, it feels like you're really diving deep here with this page of swords. And it's bringing you into this whole new chapter. So it's like you've crossed the abyss, right? You're, you're stepping onto this new ground and you're learning a lot. You're, it's sort of like your desires are, are coming from deep within. It's like, damn, you know, that would be really nice to have this or to have that happen in my life or to, you know, be in this type of relationship or to have this type of job. This is in your energy that's sort of leading you to where we're at right now. And I really see you sort of looking into the future, sort of like, where am I going from here? What, what do I want? Okay, and I see you've sort of turned from the past. You, you're, you're grabbing the future by the horns, so to speak, and you're really um, getting a game plan down, which is bringing us to your current energy. I'm telling you, my Gemini is about to maybe hit the lottery or get some type of payout, a raise, something like that. There's a massive shift coming in for my Geminis and I really see you pulling your energy away from things that are draining you and from things that are causing turbulence and imbalance in your life. Anything that sort of feels like it's blocking you, Gemini, I feel like you are taking your power back and you're sort of leaving that behind and I really see you staying focused, staying positive, um, planting these seeds and sort of you're on your job right now. You're, you know, working to get this abundant harvest in whatever way that may resonate for you. And I feel like the fact that you've pulled your energy from certain situations or habits, thought patterns, um, you've pulled your energy away from things that weren't serving you to say it in simplest terms. And it's really like you're putting the energy back into yourself and this is going to pay off big. You guys got the seven of pentacles here and in your incoming energy slash um, advice, I really see this paying off as the sort of theme of the reading. We've got the justice card, the page of wands, the world, the eight of cups. And so you're aligning to your path of destiny here and you really are leaving behind a whole old chapter a whole old life a whole old way of life i know it resonates differently for all of my gemini's maybe some of you are even moving jobs or moving into a new location regardless of how that resonates all of my gemini's are moving into a new space you're moving into something new and you're doing things differently here this is like a new spiritual quest in the game of life is sort of what it feels like and i really do see you aligning to your path of destiny here i see the karmic scales being balanced and um, like I said, you guys are really getting stuff done right now in your incoming energy. I see you. I see something happening. OK. That is sort of getting you unstuck or maybe some of my Gemini's feeling like they've been sort of stuck in a situation or stuck in an energy. And I see you moving away from that. I see the transformation taking place and I see you sort of I see things clicking for you and you deciding to move toward whatever this is toward taking your power back it's like you're being rewarded for not giving up you're coming through as the wounded warrior here and so there's definitely for all of my gemini's the end of a major cycle and you're going through this massive transition through this massive transformation i'm hearing as well and i'm really seeing you become enlightened um through 
your experiences through the situations that you were maybe quote unquote stuck in or um, from the energy that you were in. It's like you're realizing why you were in that energy in the first place. It's all clicking and it's it's you're gaining this wisdom, you're gaining this knowledge and you're sort of seeing the other side, right? You're seeing the situation from a different point of view, from a different angle, sort of this zoomed out view where it's making sense and it's clicking. And this is where you are moving straight toward taking your power back and toward what it is that makes you happy. Like I said, for some of my Geminis, this may be a new relationship. For others, this may be a new job. Maybe you're starting a business um, or some type of project like you know, something down that alley. Um, this is going to bring a lot of happiness, a lot of light into your life, Gemini. Look up angel number 1212 in the advice for you. See, on the bottom of the deck, we've got this ace of pentacles. And so this is an opportunity to create something beautiful. This is an opportunity to create something big. Spirit saying, you know, protect your energy right now. Try to stay as close to the eye of the storm as you can. I see things are a little bit hectic, a little chaotic around you as you're sort of releasing whatever this was, maybe a betrayal or something like that, right? There was something that happened in the past that's still coming up in your mental space here, Gemini, and I see you in the process of releasing that and awakening to the truth, to the deeper meaning of the situation, whatever it may have been, and you are taking this new opportunity there is a message from the divine to take care of yourself to not overwork yourself right now not just staying busy to be busy and to not think about what happened but to really dive deep and sort of give gratitude for whatever this upheaval was right because it is propelling you into this beautiful new chapter your advice is to continue working towards your happiness to continue putting in that work to continue staying focused and i really see you putting yourself in this position where you're going to be receiving you're going to be receiving happiness you're sorry about the focus we've got the nine of pentacles the queen of pentacles the ten of cups this is all of your hard work paying off this is it paying off in a really big way. This is you starting to receive because you switched and changed up how you were moving and where you were putting your energy. And this is spirit saying to continue building this legacy, to continue moving towards your happiness and doing what matters most to you. Gemini, what brings light into your life? What makes you happy? Um, how can you continue to heal yourself and love yourself? What actions do you need to take? This is about you speaking that into the universe. You guys start doing affirmations, listening to subconscious reprogramming while you sleep, while you're moving through your day, and continue to fight through the hard times because it is, like I said, it's like you're in the in-between time where the slate is being cleaned right now and I feel like you're gaining all of this clarity on what it is you want. Where are we going from here? So continue trusting the universe. Continue trusting your intuition. Continue trusting this clean slate. Give thanks for how far you've come, right? And make your decisions based off of the knowledge and wisdom. This new point of view that you have um, as you move forward, right? You're coming from a, a way more enlightened energy and space, and it's like full speed ahead towards your victory, towards your success, towards your empire, toward your queendom, your kingdom, toward whatever this is, and you're truly turning this lead into gold. You're turning the water into wine, family. You are creating balance from chaos. You're finding your center, your healing, and your angels, guides, you know, divine, whatever you want to call it, is with you, guiding you every step of the way. So there's a major message on trusting that Gemini. And for some of you that are sort of stuck in a funk, the divine is saying that you have the key to this door right here. Gemini, your whole entire perceived reality is a manifestation of you. It is you sort of 
pushed out into a visible form so that way you can learn so that way you can grow so that way you can learn to love yourself and come into literally union with yourself that is the ultimate awakening that is the ultimate enlightenment is to realize that it's all you and so instead of pointing the finger um, instead of blaming, instead of playing the victim game, this is where we take responsibility and we heal ourselves on a very deep soul level so we can align to what it is we want to create. Gemini, you are a co-creator and you are very powerful. So use your speech, use your mental space, use your visualization to visualize what it is your victory and your success looks like and speak claim and affirm that y'all every word that you speak is a spell i get people commenting on the video sometimes like everything's terrible i'm in hell until this happens i'm just gonna be in hell you're speaking black magic you're putting a spell on your life every time you speak negatively every time you have a negative thought like, oh, I can't do this, or that is a spell that you are putting on yourself. Your consciousness is the computer. Your subconscious is the printer. And your subconscious has no eyes. All it knows is what it hears from your internal dialogue, which is your programming. And so it's just printing out exactly what it hears and what it's being told to print out. And so take this, you guys, as a, an opportunity to reprogram your mental space, to start creating your own reality and to you know, start being tactical and planning out what, it, what you want you know, coming for, for your future, right? And remember, what's done in darkness always comes to light, regardless of how that resonates or manifests for you, period, right? There is a perfect cosmic law of cause and effect you can call it karma you can call it the planet saturn right and it's going to keep things balanced so don't be worried about who did you dirty who did you wrong pointing look deeper into the situations and say why did this situation if this if every situation is me then why did this happen and what is it trying to show me what part of my own self needs healing what part of me is are these relationships that aren't serving me what part of me are they resonating with and you know take responsibility right and know that you do have the key to your future to creating the love that you want right to creating the life that you want it's going to take stepping out of your comfort zone family right four of pentacles and letting go of the way that we look at the world because we are all programmed and this is how we build this legacy gemini family we are the change and so it starts with us. It truly starts with us. It starts with us tapping deeper into our intuition. It starts with us realizing that we are the magician. We are the co-creators of our reality. And so we must go into the stillness. If we're just mindlessly scrolling through TikTok or social media all day, you are wasting precious time, right? We're all on this path to enlightenment. We're all on this path to awakening and self-love. You're not going to find the love, that, that missing piece outside of yourself until you find it inside of yourself. And then that printer will start printing out exactly what is inside. And that's all that's ever happening, y'all. So take this. Take that risk. Take that action. Take this opportunity from the universe to experience real love, right? And we are truly blessed to experience a death and rebirth during this life not having to wait until death to die and to shed the ego and to shed um these devil energies these lower frequencies y'all so with that being said we're gonna jump into some oracle messages if anybody wants to take a deeper dive into your situation feel free to pop at me my information is always down below in the description box or in the about section of the channel. This is a huge shift. This is a huge change for my Geminis. Continue pushing like the warriors that y'all are. Continue staying strong. Continue moving forward and closing out these chapters that aren't serving you, family. What do we have here? All right, bet. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up if this reading, if you enjoyed it in any capacity. Um, 
the energy exchange is truly appreciated and if you're not gonna then you don't have to watch this channel um there's plenty more tarot channels out here wow you guys you are being offered a spiritual gift from the divine mother your path need not be one of endless exertion Connecting with pleasure as a path of personal empowerment intending to bring spiritual benefit to the collective through the softening and opening of your heart is an act of worshiping the divine feminine. Let yourself receive her loving gifts. Although you may be in circumstances that you would prefer not to be in at this time, you are actually in a position of unrealized spiritual power. You will gain benefit from what is transpiring when the relevant learning and personal growth have been acknowledged and integrated. These circumstances will give way to a more favorable situation. Can I get one more Divine Mother for my beautiful Gemini family? <clears throat> Yeah, you are in a sort of period of deep healing. I, and I definitely felt this heart chakra activation slash awakening, you guys. So this is about awakening to this self-love. It's time to realize uh, the true nature of certain life circumstances. Be grateful for what you have learned, but see things for what they are Ooh, and not what you wish them to be. You shall be able to recognize, process, and prosper from the truth, and you do not need to fear the revelations that are unfolding. Sorry about the focus, y'all. One, one more flew out. And this is Matanji. It says, she is the tantric, tantric queen of outcasts, unveiling the hidden inner power to thrive outside of conventional society if you've been denied love and respect she brings healing and empowerment if you've suffered rejection abandonment or been labeled as unworthy in any way she brings dignity and repair she clears the way for a creative joyful and vibrant life path and um i'm gonna grab one more from this shaman's dream oracle deck for my gemini gang get a message to close out with There's also a message coming through about not putting your energy toward wanting somebody else to get their karma, right? Whatever this upheaval was, if you are putting your energy toward, man, I, I can't wait till they get their karma. They're going to get theirs type energy. It's going to come back and bite you, right? The divine, there is a perfect cosmic law regardless of, and we have nothing to do with it, all right? Um so I don't know who that message is for, but let the divine handle it. Put your energy into yourself, family. <laughs> the laughing Buddha, right? When we realize that this whole real reality is ourself, it's like, <laughs> yo, that's wild. The fools embrace transmuting this pain. Can I get... Is that the one you want me to read? Wow. What did we get here? There's an opportunity here. We have Caterpillar. Wow, this focus is trash right now. Limitless possibility under that. Lost compass. Getting back to your integrity. Balancing act here. We've got uh, 5335 in these numbers here. So you may be seeing threes. You may be seeing fives. 555, 333. There's a master number here. 22 empty well time to replenish so again making sure you're taking care of yourself and not just overworking yourself right now and we've also got this watchers transpersonal y'all and this is that hermit energy where you've made it to the top of the mountain to the ending of a cycle and this is about overlooking everything from that zoomed out point of view where you are looking in the energetic mirror you're looking at things as they truly are right True hanged man energy where you're becoming enlightened and, and truly seeing uh, things from a, a, a totally different and new perspective, right? The hanged man walking upright through their days and is now hanging upside down and seeing everything from a completely new point of view. I'm going to read this fool's embrace card though. 
card number 22. You may be seeing twos as well. There's a lot of sixes out here and nines as well. I opened right up to the fool's embrace, y'all. The pain of life is sometimes unbearable when we are in it. Oh, is sometimes unbearable. When we're in it, we think the pain, we think that pain, that loss, that betrayal will always be woven through our con continuity of existence. We're kept hostage by the way we identify with the pain and what we make it mean. If we let it, it becomes etched into us like a tattoo. No matter where on the spectrum of pain you find yourself now, whether it be mild disappointment or searing loss, it's time to make peace with it. Befriend it rather than resisting it. Running from it or judging it as bad or unfair or hostile. It says befriend it rather than resisting it, running from it, or judging it as bad, unfair, or hostile. Can you see the gift that is here? Surrender to the fool's embrace, allowing the truth to envelop you in love and compassion. What if you could learn something amazing from this? <clears throat> what is truly yours will not pass you by. Something better and perfect for you is waiting elsewhere. If you could come to terms with the liberation and freedom inherent in loss, your broken heart might open up to a greater open you up to a greater sense of humanity and compassion. As in the narrative of Tarot, the fool will be at the beginning of your life's adventure and at the end when you've integrated all the wisdom you've accumulated along the journey. He will never let you down or lie to you. He will, however, teach you how to revel in both the beauty and the desperation of life. Both and this and that will always be true remember the pearl can't be created without the gritty sand causing discomfort and acting as a catalyst in the oyster in the oyster your pearl is discovered in radical acceptance that everything has value all is well now and will be well remember that today as you feel the fool's embrace this is a major spiritual awakening and level up for my gemini's okay this is very important very important and i'm not sure how many of you are still watching if you're still watching right now drop me a clock emoji down below and let me know that you hung in there through the messages that that are not always easier to hear that lets me know that you're here for more than a dopamine rush and you're here for more than um low vibrational messages talking about who's getting their karma right because karma is going to happen period Karma's going to happen regardless all right let me know if you're still here rocking with me. Let me know if you are going to take this opportunity for this new spiritual journey. Let me know that you are handling your business for real like all of these oracle cards said in the beginning. And let me know you are following that white rabbit to your enlightenment, to your liberation, to your happiness, to your true love and abundance family with all of that being said i appreciate you stopping through i appreciate you tuning in i appreciate all of the love and support on the channel again i would appreciate it if you smash that thumbs up for me before we tap out we are going to take a deep cleansing breath and we're going to clear this space we're going to breathe divine energy into our heart chakra use your visualization use your will picture the light at the top of the universe white or gold bring that energy down as we breathe in into your heart chakra, we're going to pause at the top of the breath. We're going to hold it and watch that energy radiate out through our aura. And as we release, we're going to exhale like we are filling up a balloon. And we are going to picture any of this sadness, 